it's the end of the first quarter and a lot of people are reflecting on what they've achieved so far their body goals business goals financial goals and all those other goals today i'm here to help you reflect on your style goals and also share with you some very effective tips to help you build a functional closet and do better with your style for the rest of the year my name is Faith. I'm a men's personal stylist and shopper based in Lagos, Nigeria. I help men present themselves properly through style. I love to see men get a hang of their personal style. So I talk all things personal style for men on this channel. If you're new here, welcome on board. Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you're updated every single time I drop a video. So at the beginning of the year, we all had goals. We wanted to do better, be healthy, be fit, save more, you know, dress well, look good. And I'm here to help you reflect on that. How have you been doing with your style? Are you dressing better? Are you avoiding style mistakes? Because the first set of videos I posted at the beginning of the year were style mistakes to avoid for the rest of the year. Are you shopping intentionally? Are you finding it difficult to dress the part? Are you struggling to find things in your closet? Are you always stressed about dressing up? Don't worry, I got you. So if you are on the side of those that are struggling with what to wear, you have tons of clothes, but you still struggle with what to wear on a daily basis, you see that your style is not up to par, you are not able to bring out the ideas you have in your head when it comes to style and you are really struggling. I'm going to help you today by sharing some tips to do better with your style. The first thing is that you need to do a wardrobe declutter. Yes, if you reflect and see that there's a particular area in your style that you are struggling with, maybe your casual wear or maybe it's your work wear or occasional wear, you need to tackle that particular segment of your clothing by doing a declutter. A wardrobe declutter on its own sounds very overwhelming, looks like you have to bring out all your clothes and start sorting one after the other and it can be very stressful but this is a simple trick that I have for you. Identify what areas of your wardrobe of your style you're struggling with so let's say it's casual wear for instance go into your wardrobe and bring out all your casual wear that's where you won't be overwhelmed with decluttering your entire closet we are just tackling casual wear for now and begin to identify pieces that you love to wear that you have probably been wearing over and over again from january till now put them on one section. That is the I always wear pile. And then you begin to identify pieces that you have not really worn. Maybe you've worn just once or twice since January. Put them in rarely worn items. That's another pile. And then you will find items that you have never worn from January till now and just put on maybe from last year till now or two years ago till now because I was doing a wardrobe decutter for a client and we found items still with their tags from previous years so he had even forgotten he had those items in his wardrobe so you put them in another pile that is never worn items you can also have items that you've not worn because there's a defect on the item it is too tight it is too loose whatever it is put them in the never worn section now you begin to tackle one pile after the other all right the i always wear pile you begin to identify clothes that you really like you will begin to see colors that suit you you begin to identify things that make you wear these items all the time you know maybe it's the type of fabric maybe it's the comfort maybe it's the flexibility it's stretchy it doesn't restrict your movements when you're wearing it maybe it's the color you like the color of the jeans you like the color of the chinos whatever it is just identify those characteristics that make you want to wear those clothes all the time those are the things you need to be replicating when you are shopping because you want to feel good about your clothes you want your clothes to make you feel good all right now you move to the next pile which is the really one pile and ask yourself critical questions tough questions why don't I wear these pieces often what is wrong with them is it that the color is just off you just don't like it but you bought it at the spur of the moment it looked really nice online but by the time you it got delivered to your house it was something else you know you need to ask yourself questions why am i not wearing this item is it that you've forgotten about it is it that it needs to be amended somehow is it that there's a defect there's a broken button a broken zip whatever it is if there are things that can be fixed on clothing items in this pile and you want to wear them go fix them all right so if you have to slim fit a particular pair of trousers you have to fix a button on a polo shirt whatever it is so that you can move them to the 
I always wear pile. All right. Now to the never worn pile. You need to ask yourself critical questions. Why have I never worn this item? Is it that I forgot I even had it because of the position it is in your wardrobe? Maybe it's under, inside, inside, and honestly, you have just forgotten that you had a particular t-shirt, had a particular pair of jeans, shorts, or whatever it is, all right? Now, you need to organize your closet in a way that you will be able to see all your items. So you pick that item that you're seeing that, oh, it's because I forgot this item. Put it in the I always wear pile. Other items that you would identify in the never worn before pile could be items you're holding on to for sentimental reasons. And maybe a girlfriend gave it to you, a wife, your mom, but it really doesn't work with your style. That's not your person. That's not your personality. It is too big. It's vintage. It's old school. It's outdated. You need to identify what is wrong with those items, why you have never worn them. And if you see there are pieces that are still in good condition, you have two options or three options. You can give them to people that you know will wear them. All right. Number two is you can donate to charity. And number three is that you can actually resell them so that your closet is only filled with items that are functioning. That is what it means to have a functional closet. All right. Every piece of clothing, every piece of accessory, whatever it is that is adding to your style in your wardrobe must function. It must work for you. All right. So when you've done that, you begin to arrange your closet in a way that actually works for your lifestyle so you can arrange according to categories casual wear work wear occasional wear leisure wear you can arrange according to color you can arrange according to type i'm going to expand on this in another video but please go do that exercise and if you think it's going to be so overwhelming for you i have a service i'm here for you i offer it in person or virtually i'm able to come and help you do a proper declutter so that you can eat your style goals for the rest of the year that is where i'm going to be stopping for today's video i hope you've learned a thing or two if you have let me know in the comment section also let me know which style goals you have not been able to eat maybe you have not been able to eat your goals in terms of wearing the right colors or wearing things that fit you properly share with me in the comment section i won't judge you instead i'm going to point you to the right direction to do better with your style this is where i'm going to be drawing the cutting for today's video i hope you loved it if you did give it a thumbs up share with a man around you and if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you can get updates every single time i drop a video that's it from me today i'll see you in my next video bye